Every August 30th, the Catholic Church celebrates the feast day of St. John Jugan, also known as Sister Mary of the Cross. During the 19th century, she founded the Little Sisters of the Poor with the goal of imitating Christ's humility through service to elderly people in need. Born on October 25, 1792, in a port city of the French region of Brittany, Jean grew up during the political and religious upheavals of the French Revolution. Unfortunately, she lost her father when she was only four. Her mother struggled to provide for Jean and her three siblings. Jean worked as a shepherdess and later as a servant. It is said that twice she declined a marriage proposal from the same man, first when she was 18 and then again six years later. She told her mother that God had other plans and he was calling her to a work which is not yet founded. At age 25, Jean joined the Congregation of Jesus and Mary founded by John Oud, taking the religious name Sister Mary of the Cross. There, she worked as a nurse in the town of St. Servan. In 1839, a year of economic hardship in St. Servan, Sister Mary encountered Anne Chauvin, an elderly woman who was blind, partially paralyzed, and had no one to care for her. She carried the elderly woman home to her apartment and took her in from that day forward, letting the woman have her bed while Sister Mary slept in the attic. Soon, she took in two more old women in need of help, and by 1841 she had rented a room to provide housing for a dozen elderly people. The following year, she acquired an unused convent building that could house 40 of them. During the 1840s, many other young women joined Sister Mary in her mission of service to the elderly poor. This act of charity became the foundation of a religious congregation called the Little Sisters of the Poor. Sister Mary wrote a simple rule of life for this new community of women, and they went door to door daily, requesting food, clothing, and money for the women in their care. By 1850, over 100 women had joined the congregation that had become known as the Little Sisters of the Poor. However, Sister Mary was forced out of her leadership role by Father Auguste Le Pior, the priest who had been appointed Superior General of the Congregation by the local bishop. In an apparent effort to suppress her true role as foundress, Father Auguste assigned her to do nothing but beg on the street, until she was sent into retirement and a life of obscurity for 27 years. During these years, she served the order through her prayers and by accepting the trial permitted by God. The communities of the Little Sisters of the Poor had begun to spread throughout France and expanded to England in 1851. From 1866 to 1871, five communities of Little Sisters were founded across the United States. By 1879, the community had 2,400 Little Sisters, and had spread across Europe and to North America. On March 1, 1879, Pope Leo XIII approved the constitutions for the Little Sisters of the Poor for an initial period of seven years. Unfortunately, that same year on August 29, Sister Mary died at the age of 86. At the time of her death, it is said that many of the Little Sisters did not know that she was the one to have founded the congregation. Father Auguste, however, was investigated and was dismissed in 1890. Upon his dismissal, Sister Mary was acknowledged as the foundress of the congregation. Sister Mary was buried in the graveyard of the General Mother House at St. Pern. She was beatified in Rome by Pope John Paul II on October 3, 1982, and canonized on October 11, 2009, by Pope Benedict XVI, who said, in the Beatitudes, Jean Jugan found the source of the spirit of hospitality and fraternal love, founded on unlimited trust in Providence, which illuminated her whole life. The good Pope recalled how Saint Jean Jugan lived the mystery of love, in a way that remains ever timely while so many elderly people are suffering from numerous forms of poverty and solitude and are sometimes also abandoned by their families. For more information about every saints and their feast day, please like and subscribe to our channel, House of Prayers for Everyone.